episode number nine of the business and leadership story is something that we learn so much from and Sachin Bhandari from the story co is here I mean it's really simple we remember stories from our epics from the Mahabharat from the movies from comic books but if we are asked do you remember business presentation from last week we're scratching our heads <laughs> stories are a hack into the human brain believes Sachin Bhandari and uh, we need to use them more how are you my friend very good, Rishi. Very good, Rishi. Looking forward to this. <laughs> now, this is something I wish, I hope the entire sales force <laughs> where I work is listening to. Do geeks make better salespeople? And this is fantastic. Another thing, my friend, I live and learn. I learned post reading this, uh, the, the literature that you sent me, that there is a terminology <laughs> called marmils. So let's do it this way. Let's have you first explain to us what a marmil is. Uh, yeah. get into you geeks make better sales people right 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 so marmil is a very interesting term right i got uh, got to know about it a few years ago in a times of india article so i'm a uh, you could say i'm a part marmil uh, and no marmil has nothing to do with kerala or malabari uh, you know people who are from that part of the country marmil basically is uh, middle aged men in lycra okay so m a m i l middle aged men in lycra so i am middle aged yes but i wouldn't be caught dead in a lycra so mamils are mostly people who are cycling you know uh, that's a term that's used for all these bombay bangalore uh, uh, you know really cool uh, uncles who wear lycra and strut around uh, in their cycles so yes mamils is that term and uh, yeah i'm not a mamil <laughs> Yeah, let's get into geeks and why they make better salespeople. Uh, yes, uh, Rishi. So, it, it's something that actually happened. Uh, you know that I moved from Bombay to Bang, uh, to Mysore in December of 2020. Uh, and, um, you know, the movement or moving from Bombay to Mysore meant that I had to give up on cycling for a few months because my cycle was here in Bombay. When I was moving out, I sold, I mean, gave it to a friend. Uh, and all of that and you know we were finding our feet in my so so I think around July of 2021 is when I decided that hey it's about time to get back on the saddle and uh, start exploring this beautiful city of Mysore and uh, that's when I started looking for a cycle so I went to different stores and of course there were cycles and there were features and sales people would keep telling me uh, what's the cycle like what's the features like etc and the cost etc and do you want to buy right so that was their question all the time and that somehow wasn't working for me. You know, I just wasn't getting any insight or anything uh, about the cycle or the store for that matter. And I then happened to walk into this store called Explore by Sharda Cycles. Now, Sharda Cycles is the oldest cycle store in Mysore. I think they started back in the 1920s, if I'm not mistaken, or probably even before that. Uh, so they've been around for over 100 years. And the fourth generation uh, of the family her name is Surachita Sanjay. Uh, she was at the store. I mean, I didn't know, you know, she was she was part of the family uh, that owns the store. But she was in the store and I could hear her speaking to other customers and she was explaining things really well and all of that. And I was like, if I'm going to talk to somebody, it's going to be this lady because it seems like she knows her stuff. You know, uh, so I waited for my turn and then I started having a conversation and she told me about the different bikes. Uh, that were at display and what my requirement was and then she started explaining how some of the uh, frames uh, they are made in Punjab in Ludhiana and elsewhere and what kind of production happens there and uh, how uh, Indians despite the fact that our roads are decent enough for hybrid cycles because mountain cycles are something that you're actually supposed to ride in mountains and trails like those but despite that majority of Indians buy MTBs for some reason, they've become popular. So, you know, we were having this fascinating conversation about cycles and cycling. And I had made up my mind that I will go ahead and work or, you know, have some kind of partnership or at least buy a cycle from this particular store because of her knowledge. And uh, I eventually went and bought a cycle at Decathlon only because I had the space to try out the cycle. But my wife, uh, Sarika, and my cousin Tithi, they actually, uh, I got them to go back and buy a cycle at Sharda Cycles because I truly wanted uh, uh, to own a cycle from uh, from this particular store. And to think of it, it is because of this young lady and what she does really well, uh, which I can tell you in a bit. 
Excellent. So really, geeks make better salespeople. <laughs> yes, that's what. Uh, What's the business and leadership and communication tip uh, that you can give out that you've extracted from this particular story, Sachin? What I realized uh, when 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 we were having a conversation and when I also looked at Sudachita having a chat with uh, other people, she's a good friend now, and you know she's the same with everyone, every customer that walks into the store. she is really passionate about cycles and not just cycles the production and the entire industry right so she does not engage with you only on the features of the cycle and the cost she has a conversation now most sales people think that sales is about pitching as opposed to that sales is actually about having a conversation uh, being able to share your knowledge your excitement your passion with your customer so that they feel the same way that you do the only uh, only nuance here or the only thing to remember here is that as a geek sometimes you can really geek out and you can make it very difficult for the audience to understand what you're saying because then you're using like really technical terms and all that so she has that fine had that fine balance of being a geek having a conversation and helping me increase my knowledge base but at the same time keeping it simple enough so that i at no point in time felt that oh my god i don't know what this young lady is saying i better walk out of here because she's too high up in the level of cycling index or something like that and i'm still a beginner so uh, geeks if they are actually people who understand how to simply communicate what they have to say share simple stories and information i am 100% sure they make for better sales people because everybody wants to engage with them you know we all love having a conversation like we are having one and when great conversations happen sales is just an after effect in my opinion a uh, by product or an after effect you're absolutely correct win with stories is sachin bhandari's newsletter in linkedin where can we reach out to you as well as the story co if we want workshops consultations or just information uh thanks rishi for that yes uh, i write on linkedin 5 out of 7 days business and communication stories and tips so anyone who wants to learn more can feel free to follow me there by looking up sachin bhandari so sachin that's my first name bhandari is b h a n d a r y that's r y it's y and not i uh, and my linkedin profile also has the link to my wednesday newsletter win with stories so yep looking forward to connecting with some of you folks i look forward to speaking with you next week take care of yourself bye for sure for sure rishi thank you one world your station